Hello everyone, welcome back to another one of my reviews. And today I have two things that I want to review. These are two candy bars that I got while I was in Florida. Now one of them, well no, I didn't get this one down in Florida. I got this one at a QT like 30 minutes away from here. Uh, but the first one I got is from Florida. Um, and it's something that's, it's a British candy bar that is... You can find in the U.S., but it's not very easy. It's the Mars Bar, which never had it before. My mom said that you used to be able to go anywhere and find these things, but now you can't for some reason. And they're a British candy. Um, the only way I got this was uh, Universal. We're standing in line for this Harry Potter train that would take us to Islands of Adventure. Uh, and there was a little shop they had there that the line was forced to pass through and you could buy something if you wanted. They had British stuff, so uh, I got a Mars bar. So I'm going to try that right now. Alright, so. Looks a little smashed. It was in a cooler, so. Oh, my. So, from what you can see, it's just nougat and caramel covered in chocolate. Yeah. It's really good, though. Hmm, really is. Hmm. I really do like that, because... Candy bars like the Three Musketeers, like a uh, Three Musketeer, so, a candy bar like the th like Three Musketeers. I always thought there was too much nougat, it's just too much. But that I think it has a good balance of both nougat and caramel, but also the chocolate still stands out. It's really good. And then this, this is a zero. Um, I've seen these things around a lot, but I've never had one. I don't really know what they're like. Um, my mom did give me, tell me a couple of things what it was, but it's, it says right here, caramel, peanut, and almond nougat covered with white fudge. So, I'm kind of curious. So it's white. So as you can see right there. Never had one before, so it's a king size. It's much longer than a regular. Oh my! Where have you been all my life? This is really good. I will say that anything that has white chocolate in it, the white chocolate is guaranteed to overpower or kind of be more showy. It just has a very prominent flavor that just tends to kind of cancel out other things. I can still taste the other things, but of course the white chocolate is just a prominent thing, so I think it's okay. But white chocolate is a kind of chocolate that is just sits heavy in my stomach. But I think this is really good. But, if I had to choose, I like the Mars Bar better. I think there's a nice combination of all of the three basic ingredients they have there. Where that, they have a lot of ingredients, which are, most of them are all overpowered by white chocolate. So, that's something I don't like it. I think it's great, but it's just white chocolate. You know, more often than not, tend to overpower. Though there is, um... I remember when I had the Twix White, there was more emphasis on the cookie than anything else, and that had white chocolate, so I'm not sure. 
Uh, that That's really the only exception I can find with white chocolate. So, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And uh, I'll see you in whatever video I do next. Goodbye.